Hello. In the previous session, you had seen installation of Kali machine inside a virtual machine. Uh, in this session, we're going to see how we can configure certain things. So the first basic thing that you need to do after an installation is the installation of VMware tools. And it is very important. Why it is important is because uh, it gives you three functionalities, not only three, but many. But three main functionalities are copy and paste from host operating system to the guest operating system. Screen resolution. If you see your earlier machine, the screen size would be very small. Like uh, I, 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 if I power it on, it will give you only this much screen, Okay, not the full one. So if you install VMware tools, it will give you the full resolution like this. All right. Uh, it also gives you a drag and drop option. So how you can install VMware tools? Go to your VM and then I have a reinstall VMware tools, but you have install VMware tool option. So you just have to click it. Once you click it, uh, you will get this kind of icon VMware tools. So let me just try it. It will not work because uh, I need to disconnect this VMware file from here. Uh, so now it has been disconnected. If I go to reinstall VMware tool, you will see that uh, uh, I need to mount. Yeah, here, there we go. You can see that VMware tools has been here. If I go to any of the file system here, let me go to the open folder. And uh, if I go to the VMware tools, inside VMware tools, there is a tar file here. VMware tool tar.z. You just need to copy it to the desktop. Uh, not necessary, uh, just my uh, kind of thing. So you can go it from that folder, uh, but I just copy it to the uh, desktop. Right, so now you have a tar file here. You just need to now open your terminal, which will take, uh, I guess, maybe <laughs> like 15 to 20 seconds. I have a very slow machine, and apologies for that. Uh, I do not have that kind of machine which can run so many virtual machines in a parallel environment. I have a very low end system here, but you can see there is a shell. And what I can do, I can, I can zoom it a little, and then I go to CD desktop uh, just like this. And if I make, I'll give you all commands, Linux command in the next session, but just uh, follow it. Uh, so if I give ls here, you can see there is a tar file in the desktop. I just need to decompress it with the help of tar xvzf for the options. I'm so sorry. If I write VMware tools, and it will decompress everything here, right? It will create a folder VMware tool distribution here. You will see there is a folder here. Now if I if I clear it, uh, and if I just uh, let me just resize it. And if I ls, you will see there is a folder, a VMware tool distribution here. You need to go to this VMware tools, uh, this folder, and then you need to make ls. And there is a pl file here. This is an executable file. You can run it like dash VMware tool pl. And then if you hit enter, and then it will ask you uh, how you want to install this VMware tools. You just need to press enter, enter, and enter. You just, just follow the instructions. And uh, eventually, you will, uh, you know, install the whole VMware tool there, right? Once you install the VMware tools, you need to, you need to uh, restart your virtual machine. Once you restart it, you will get the full, full screen like this. Then you can copy it anything from your host operating system to the uh, guest operating system, just like this. So if I, if I make a drag and drop here, this dsa.txt, you will see that. Uh, you can see I can, oh, I'm so sorry. Let's just uh, wait a second. And then you see that I can drag and drop here eventually. And if I if I just leave this here, it is going to be copied. It is not uh, copied. It will take some time. I mean, I have a slow machine. But if you have a very high processing power, it will not take that much of time. It, it will just copy it, OK? So uh, we will see that kind of uh, thing here as well. Uh, take some take some time here. It will it will be copied. Okay, so uh, this option is available uh, for you. Uh, even you can uh, you can uh, write uh, you can like this do such thing like uh, you can copy and paste anything. So if you have a text here inside uh, maybe this Android.txt, if you open this uh, Android.txt here and if you copy this whole thing here. Earlier, you cannot do it. Without VMware tools, you cannot do this. So I had copied that thing. If I open this hash.txt, however, this hash.txt is for my virtual machine and not for my physical machine. But uh, you see that my machine is very slow. I mean, I can't believe this, that I have a 
huge RAM available, but still it is very slow. You see that uh, this all thing is not important for me, but I had copied something from my host operating system. Remember, I can paste it over here. You see, I can do that, but before uh, VMware tools, it is not possible for me to do it. Okay, so it is very important that you have VMware tools installation. The second important thing is uh, basically uh, there is a thing that I want to show you. You need to update your Kali machine. Uh, if you have not updated, uh, you need to update it with a simple command apt update. If you write apt update in your terminal, it will update the operating system. However, it will not update the operating system, but will update the packages basically. And we will see the structure of Kali in our later sessions. But uh, uh, but if you get something like uh, error not error but if your operating system packages is not updating your packages are not updating it is just showing that a zero packet is updated or every packet has been updated if you get this kind of you know message in your terminal uh, like if i just let me just open the shell here if you if you write this apt uh, update here and if you get if you not get uh, you know the message like uh, packages are updating but if you are getting an error like not an error but a message like uh, all packages are updated so you need to do something like uh, update your repository the problem is once you install the kali machine the repositories are not being updated inside the the this uh, operating system you need to manually do it sometimes so what you can do you open your firefox any uh, browser uh, go and write uh, kali repositories and the very first link will give you the repositories. Uh, see, if I open this Kali network repositories, and these are the repositories that you need to add uh, somewhere in the file. So I'm gonna, I can, I can use this command as well, but I do not want to make it uh, complex things here. So what you need to do it, you need to go for uh, cd uh, hc apt and go here and if you uh, put ls here there is a source list file you need to open this source list so what you can do here eventually you will having something called as mouse pad you can use them as well but i am very flexible at mouse pad mouse pad is a text editor by which you can open any text file so mouse pad sources dot list here you need to open this file sources dot list and you can see that you need to copy that that uh, particular link that you had copied you need to paste it over here just like this i had pasted already uh, you need to paste it saved it and close it once you close it you need to rerun the same command apt update now you run this apt update it will work okay it will update the things for you so you, you can see here get one get two and it, it, it will eventually get, uh, get to 100 and it will update your packages uh, in the kali machine so this is the second thing you need to do so I will not update it. The next thing you need to understand is, you see that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, this is my Wi-Fi here. Uh, but uh, if you observe here that here in the network section of Kali, it is showing me a wired connection. So remember your Wi-Fi connection is going to be converted into wired connection in any virtual machine. And why it is so is because uh, it is not possible for to use the internal NIC uh, as a Wi-Fi here in the virtual machine. It is not possible. If you want to use any Wi-Fi here in your virtual machine, then you, ne you need to purchase a Wi-Fi, uh, external Wi-Fi adapter, which can give you the uh, wireless properties. So I already have one Wi-Fi adapter with me. I'm just connecting it. And once I connect, it will, it will show you here. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, just, I think it has been connected to my host machine. And now the same, yeah, it is, it is just uh, loading here. If you go to your, see, I think it is. Yeah, see, it is asking that new USB device has been detected if you want to uh, connect to the uh, virtual machine. If I go to connect to virtual machine, I select my Debian uh, 8, uh, it means Kali machine. When I hit OK, you will see that, uh, uh, just a second, uh, my machine is, really really fast you can see right so a removable device and you will see that there is a railing 802.11 vlan you can see here that this is my uh, wi-fi adapter external wi-fi adapter and if i go to my network property here you can see that wi-fi network now all network is available to me you can see that these are wi-fi networks which were previously not been uh, 
shown here in in the in the property bar here right now i can i can see the wi-fi connections here near to my uh, uh, near to my home uh, so you need an external wi-fi card if you want to use wi-fi connection but uh, this will work if you have wi-fi connection i mean small things you can do it uh, by just connecting a wi-fi to your host operating system and it will give you the network but if you're having external Wi-Fi card, then you can use this external Wi-Fi card as a Wi-Fi cracking and something like that in article hacking. So it is a, a add-on point if you are having external Wi-Fi adapter. Okay. So this is three things that you need to understand uh, when, when you are doing the configuration of Kali machine. One more thing. Uh, right now, the IP config, if you if I if I just run IF config, uh, you see that I have uh, three interfaces here. One is for my Wi-Fi, one is for my Ethernet, which means the wired connection, which is actually a wi wireless connection. You can see I am having a DHCP connection here, 192.168.117.130. This is a DHCP IP address. You can make it static as well uh, if you are okay with it, but uh, I probably use the settings are completely fine with me because I'm not doing any malware analysis. Uh, malware analysis needs a static IP address. so. Uh, but uh, this is okay to me if it if it is a DHCP IP address go with it. No problem at all. Okay, so uh, the, these are four things that you need to uh, do uh, Once you install your Kali machine in your VM. Okay, so thank you so much guys And I'll see you in the next session with an overview of Linux I mean this Kali machine and then we will see the basic Linux directory and then Linux command and different types of other things in the Kali machine Okay, thank you so much guys. I'll see you in the next session